Hello, my beautiful sisters. I hope you're doing well. Today, we are going to talk about how you can manifest beauty with the placebo effect. Yes, placebo effect ideally was not a technique or a term that was used in the realm of manifestation or spirituality. It is actually a scientific term or a term that was used in the medical history. Uh, in 1700, placebo effect came into play when doctors, they did not know the proper treatment or they would need to tell a patient that they are treating them for a certain illness when they did not really require a treatment because it was something psychological or that illness or uh, you know was not very very heavy so in that case the doctors wanted to give a mental effect to the certain patient that yes we have given you the certain medicine it is a very strong medication and it actually worked because whenever somebody was told that they are given a certain medicine which wasn't actually a medicine it was just a sugar cube or water was injected to them but they felt relief they felt the pain go away or they felt that you know they are better now and they always gave a positive response later in the coming centuries placebo effect was also used as a comparative control that is during experiments 50 percent of the people were given actually new medicines when new medicines were being invented over these years and half of the people were not given any medicine they were just told that they are given that new medicine and it is going to work on their bodies and then when after a certain days those people were asked a lot of people uh, mentioned that yes their knee is cured or the back is cured or there is a change in their blood pressure their heart rate and things like that Hence again proof that the placebo effect worked and psychologically them believing that they are given a certain strong medicine and it is going to change their body and release them of their illness. It certainly released them of the illness. Later for medical purposes, this practice was stopped because it was considered as a malpractice that you are telling people something that is not true. So this practice is not uh, into play anymore in the medical practice. However, the placebo effect has given us a very strong theory which otherwise we could not have discovered and that is how if our human body believes in a certain thing strongly with full conviction then that certain change comes in our body and because of the invention the advent of this theory we use it in our manifestation practices the theory is that when people believe that their body is going to change a certain way because of a tablet they are taking because of an injection they are taking because of some treatment that they're receiving then their body actually changes now this is not related to the tablet or the injection that they are having it is all psychological they are believing that their body is going to change they have now believed that their body is going to heal so their body is listening to them and the body is healing this is how manifestation works in the realm of manifestation we believe that when something is put forth an intention is put forth with a strong conviction that it is going to happen not with a doubt not with a spectacle of just mere hope but a, a you know a line of doubt in it no when you believe in something very very truly that yes this thing is going to happen because i believe it is going to happen what is the thought that you have when you first get up in the morning what is the thought that you have when you are falling asleep that thought or those thoughts are your dominating thoughts and your dominating thoughts majorly decides your future it decides what is going to happen to you to your body to everything around you so this is where the placebo effect comes into play your dominant thoughts so now that we know that our dominant thoughts they lead our life that is why those people who think positively majority of positive thoughts their life ultimately be becomes positive they do attract positive things in their life if you want all the manifestations in the world but the entire day you keep on thinking of negative things you are not hopeful you are not desiring what you want but you are just thinking about the lack then you are going to manifest the lack so this is where the placebo effect comes into play now those people who thought that they are getting cured they were actually healing themselves in their subconscious mind because of their belief their belief it, did, it didn't matter they thought that i'm taking that medicine or i'm taking that injection they only their core belief okay their core belief was that now i am healing so you want to manifest beauty my beautiful sisters your core belief should be that i am beautiful 
I am flawless. I am a timeless beauty. I have got the best features in the world. I am so freaking attractive. I resonate pure beauty. I resonate pure glow. I will continue to always be beautiful. Every single day, my heart, my mind, my soul is filled with beauty. The world can see my beauty. I can see my beauty. Beauty and me are one. I am beauty. Okay, that should be your core belief. And to bring that core belief into play, in manifestation, this practice of placebo effect then came into play where this theory of your dominant thought is used. How? When you decide that in a day, whatever action you are doing a couple of times, every time you do that, you are going to get a bit more beautiful. Now, this is an intention and this is an action that you have to do deliberately. But, but when you set that intention, when you set that action, Every single time, you have to believe in it with pure, pure conviction. There's nothing in this world that doesn't start with belief and end with belief. Everything in this world, like I told you in the video yesterday that we are floating on a planet out of nowhere. That planet is floating in the universe. How can we not believe in this, you know, the greatness of how the universe actually works and what all magical, miraculous things can happen? So first of all, you have to have to believe in it, my beautiful sisters, for it to work. Okay. And this is how you're going to do it. I will always recommend you to do the placebo effect with your water, because that is something that we take through the day. And that is something that we don't forget. We get thirsty. We drink water. Okay. All the time before food, after food, all the time. Okay. So it's the best to do it with water than any other practice. Okay. Now, the first time how you're going to do it, you hold a glass of water in absolute peace and calm and then you completely put your intentions and you believe that hence on every time I drink water I am going to get more beautiful like I said use this in any of your manifestations what you're trying to manifest a certain feature hair in a certain way looks in a certain way I'm giving just an overall beauty manifestation example so you are going to set your intention that every time I drink water hence on I am going to get more beautiful my skin is going to glow, my features will become more sharp and I will be more and more beautiful every time I drink water. Every time I drink water, it is going to have this effect in my body, this effect on my face that I'm going to get a bit more beautiful and a bit more beautiful and a bit more beautiful. And this is going to continue happening every time I take water and it is just going to work for me. After that, every time you drink water, you are going to start getting a bit more beautiful. You have to remember this. Every time you drink water, get a bit more excited. Okay, here's my medicine. Here's my potion for beauty. Here's my magical potion for beauty. Here's my universal potion for beauty. And this also now it will become a habit. Like a few times, a few days you will remember. But later if you forget, no? You, whenever you take water, you will automatically remember that again, it works on our subconscious mind. And this is only the placebo effect we are trying to bring to play. So you will remember automatically without even making the efforts, A. And secondly, your subconscious mind will start thinking that every time she is taking water, she is getting more beautiful. Then your mind will start to believe it. And whenever your mind believes something, your body changes accordingly. My beautiful sisters, it's always very, very scientific. Huh? It's not like voodoo, magical. No, manifestation is so freaking scientific. It has got psychological, physiological reasons and conclusions and procedures. Okay, so when your mind starts believing in the dominant thought as its reality, as its current reality, so you're like sipping water, sipping water, I'm getting more beautiful, I'm getting more beautiful, I am more beautiful, I am more beautiful, I am more beautiful. Then the body will just, your mind will only hear that you are beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. And your mind, okay, when it believes in something, when its dominant thought becomes, something becomes its dominant thought, then your body obeys accordingly, your body changes accordingly. That is why those people, they got healed, they got treated by themselves. And that is why your features will start changing because your body will start listening to you. Your features will change. 
your complexion is going to change your skin is going to glow you're going to get more beautiful and more beautiful and overall it's not just about like okay you're going to get this feature that feature overall you're going to find yourself more beautiful in the longer run it is bound to happen people will start seeing kuch badal sa gaya hai usme ki wo aur khoobsurat lag rahi hai okay that is start that is going to happen to you please remember this line the body obeys your mind your mind dominant thought what it is comes into reality and you are doing the placebo effect to change the dominant thought of your mind now you might ask me how long you need to do this there is no restriction you can do it as long as you are satisfied with your changes you can always continue to do this or you can keep this intention and do it as long as you feel like doing it it is no rule no regulation aisa kuch bhi nahi hai you can do it as long as you feel like is there any negative effects there is no freaking negative effect whatsoever okay and will it affect my other manifestations no it is not going to affect your other manifestations it is not going to get mixed match it is not going to spoil your other manifestations yeah and what are questions you might have regarding this i am not so clear you can write down in the comments i can answer you there but yeah that's all i can think of right now and uh, will it work more important question is it will work okay just imagine पीपल गेटिंग क्योर ऑफ फिजिकल इलनेसेज यहाँ तो हम ब्यूटी की बात कर रहे हैं जो एक इमरजेंसी तो नहीं है ना वो हमारी ख्वाहिश है इट्स आवर डिजायर इट्स आवर विश इट्स आवर ब्यूटिफुल डिजायर पीपल क्योरिंग देर इलनेसेज इमेजिन दैट विद द प्लेबो इफेक्ट सो इट्स लाइक अ फ्रीकिंग और समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू मैनिफेस्ट फॉर यू जस्ट बिलीव इन इट डोंट स्टार्ट विद अ डाउट ओके इट इज गोइंग टू वर्क मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल हैव मैनिफेस्टेड millions of things with the placebo effect and you are also going to manifest for sure okay and uh, any good day to start it again there is no like a day a certain day you can just start it any time you want but yes side tip the first time you set your intention the first time the first time that you're setting your, after that wherever you have water you will remember it but the first time you are setting your intention you please be alone that time so that you can peacefully set your intention very very clearly you don't need to do a 5 10 minutes ritual maybe you'll just sit with it and hold your glass of water and think of it for 2 minutes but wo thought bahut clear hona chahiye wo intention bahut clear bahut pure hona chahiye theek hai yeah and the other times when you're drinking water do you have to sit and remember it every time no just sipping sipping in your mind only you can think okay here it is here again i'm getting more beautiful here again i'm getting more beautiful you have to believe in it you have to make it playful and you have to make it joyous do share this video with a loved one they can also learn about the placebo effect for beauty manifestation and all the other manifestations thank you so much for your time my beautiful sisters uh, all the very best i hope and wish that all your manifestations in life are going to come true take care of yourself thank you so much for your time okay bye bye